Well, I think, uh, I think the first place I'd start is that there is a huge opportunity for AI. I don't want to get caught in a kind of doom and gloom on, on, on AI at huge all. Huge opportunity for AI to break through the defences of companies, yeah? To break through <laughs> uh, the defences of companies, but also to provide productivity and to provide uh, things like... Um, changing the way we work and operation, you know, changing operations. So there's this a is, huge. This is it in a nutshell, isn't it? This is AI in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Is AI going to be for the common good and improve our productivity and our lives and give us unbelievable benefits, or actually, is it the end of the world? <laughs> and, 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 and your industry encapsulates that in some ways. <laughs> it does. I think. I presume you think the former rather than the latter. Look, I'm. I'm very. I've. I've sat inside Darktrace, the growth of an eleven-year-old company that yeah. went from zero. Yeah. to using AI in over 10,000 businesses to, to defend. And when we first started, almost everybody was um, bringing along their AI PhD person to, to quiz us on okay. how you would use AI. That's completely gone, right? We're, we're 11 years down the road, and it is fully acceptable that you have to use AI in your cyber defense stack because mm -hmm. there is so much digital data. So how we use AI as consumers, as businesses, in another 10 years down the road will be completely different to how we're using it today. But the cybersecurity guys are the good guys. You're, 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 you know, you're, you're the defenders in kind of you know, one of those dramatic Lord of the Rings films. But, but the, the, the orcs trying to get in, you know, they, they, they're using the same brainy people as you guys are using in some ways, whether it be in North Korea, whether it be in another unfriendly regime, maybe it be individual corporates as well. You know, corporate crime to, is huge for you guys as well. So why are you, is the AI defence, AI-inspired cyber defence, going to be better than the AI-inspired orc attack? <laughs> I think, um, look, we have to arm ourselves with the same tools that the bad guys are using. Yeah. We have to be developing, we have to be doing R&D that is outcompeting where crime and nation state actors sit. Absolutely, I agree with you. The yeah. bad guys are going to be using the same tooling that is going to be being used you know, alongside all that to kind of change today. Um, who, co corporates are attacking other corporates as well, aren't they? Uh, I think that's very hard to prove. You know, you'd have to go through a court of law to, to, to get to that point. But there's almost certainly uh, corporate espionage, yeah. if you like, and insider threats, people moving with data that they're taking from businesses and moving into other businesses. I went to a very long dinner once with Karen and, uh, and one of the other former anchors as well. Uh, and the end result was, yeah, you're only as weak as your contacts. You're only as weak as the, uh, as, as the, because you have, you know, any big company is watching this. They've got, you know, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 put input points and people sending emails and what have you. That's a lot of attacks and it only needs one of you to click on the wrong hyperlink and you're toast. Absolutely. So, so you still can't stop that. I mean, I get, I get these phishing emails from the NBC cybersecurity all the time and I miss them all the time. I, I'm constantly missing the bits I should have done or, or spotting it. But I mean, I don't click on hyperlinks as a rule anyway. But, but what are, what are the, the biggest ways they're trying to get into corporations at the moment? I think uh, you've touched on it. Phishing remains probably the number one vector that attackers are trying to use, right? So trying to get you as an employee to click on something so that they can then kind of take control of, yeah. of your computer. I think if we look forward, and we're, we're talking about AI, if we look forward into uh, a couple of years, the advent of AI agents and us using uh, agents for productivity, so inside your mailbox, if an attacker could so you kind of like your own Philip Marlowe. 